Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another awesome PrestaShop video. So if you have lots of users, it might happen sometimes that a product goes out of stock while it's in someone's cart. For example, two users at the, the last unit, one proceeds to the checkout and the other doesn't. Now what happens is when the second customer places the order, the product will not be available anymore. And of course, it will cause confusion, if not irritation to that person, especially if uh, you cannot restock that specific item anytime soon. So in this video, we will see how to automatic automatically remove out of stock products from the cart in PrestaShop 1.7. If you're a 1.6 user, uh, follow the link on screen now or below to reach the previous version of this tutorial. So let's get started. Um, I have my product here and uh, just, just to make sure it doesn't get removed, it's in the cart. Let's actually check it. So if I set its quantity to zero and then refresh, you can see it's still here. So let me just restore the quantity and go back to my product page so that we can get started. Now the first file we need to edit is the cart presenter, which is responsible for displaying cart information across the store. So from my root folder, I will reach source, adapter, cart, cartpresenter.php. So I will open it up and bring out my file here. I'm using Sublime Text for this uh, demonstration as always. So, all right. Uh, the first thing I want to do is add a new property for this class. So around line 52 in this case. And uh, by the way, I'm using PrestaShop 1.7.2.4, but this uh, modification works in the latest version as well. So I'm going to add a private static removed products and it's going to be an array commented. So I want to add it here since I need to keep track of this property. Now next around line 290 in the present method, I want to start uh, modifying my products. So raw products represents the product list of the cart. So first I want to check if uh, something is set in my cache, in my previously uh, saved variable. So self removed products, if this is not set, then for each raw products as, let's call it PK product, So we want to remove the product, the um, product in case it's not available, right? So what we can do here is check the product's availability, obviously. So if product quantity available is less or equal to zero and the product is not available when when out of stock I'm gonna pass in my product out of stock setting out of stock so if this happens, then I want to remove the product from my cart. So I'll use context. Actually, let me just copy it from my notes so that I'm sure I did not make any mistakes and not bore you with uh, useless bug fixing. So if context get context cart delete product, and I'm going to pass in the ID, the attribute ID, and if I scroll all the way to the right, the eventual customization and ID address delivery. So this removes the product from the cart. 
I add this, uh, this this product's name to the remove products array and then I unset this product from the product list so that in fact it's removed from the active product in the cart display as well. Now as this is done I want to assign and let's write it assign the variable let's say removed products variable so I'm gonna use context get context again and smarty assign so that we can use this in a template later so I'm going to assign an array and it's gonna be removed products self removed products so this ensures you do not get uh, duplicates in case this code is called and I know it is more than um, once now we want to do the same thing but for the uh, JavaScript context so we want to assign this to a JavaScript context so that we can later check if any product has been removed when the page loads so media at JS definition and it's gonna be the same so I just copy this from the other let me add a semicolon and everything should be done here I'll save and that's all for PHP so now I'll refresh my page to see if I did any mistake and since I did line 54 so let me quickly check that I probably forgot something yep I forgot the semicolon let me save again okay another quantity available yeah syntax errors so quantity available quantity available Let's see all right so now if I if I um, set this quantity to zero and I save and I go ahead and refresh we should see our product correctly gets removed from the cart while this works it's not exactly kind to a person to just remove their product from the cart and uh, and then say nothing so we need to add some kind of feedback for the client so next is our HTML let's open up in my uh, press shop root themes classic modules PS shopping cart PS shopping cart dot TPL so I'm gonna add some um, moto some code for a moto pop-up here so I'm gonna use if is set removed products and removed products div with um, id equals to I would say removed model and class equals model so it displays properly then I'm gonna use the standard code we will have another video about this but for now just follow along div class is gonna be model dash dialog close it inside it we're gonna have another div so it's gonna be class model content and then another div with class model body and then finally a p tag so it's gonna be l s these products are um, out of stock with d equals shop dot theme dot I know, uh, checkout it's gonna be translatable from the checkout string checkout 
like uh, we have for uh, this other cart string. Then I want to add a unordered list, so ul. And for each, I'll expand here. So for each from removed products, where the item is named our product, so that it doesn't conflict with anything else, I'll add a list item with hyphen our product, which we know is my uh, is our product name. So lastly, I'm gonna add some more text ls and have therefore been removed from your cart. Again, D is gonna be shop dot theme dot checkout. All right, this should be good to go. Everything seems to be properly in place as a very last thing. Now we want to add some JavaScript. So I will go back to my classic theme, assets, JS, and I'll open up custom.js. It's very simple. So if removed products dot length is more than zero, then we're going to trigger that model, which is going to be removed model dot model and then show. Okay, so let me check again. Actually, I called it model with underscore, so let's just match the name, otherwise, it's not going to work again. So, save this. Now, let's add our product to the cart. Okay, then move the quantity. And now whatever page I visit, your hard refresh, I'm going to get this message. These products are out of stock, blouse, and have therefore been removed from the cart. There is a trailing, there is a trailing um, bracket there so just remove it and we should be good to go now this uh, model doesn't look that fancy but no worries since in one of the next videos probably the next one we will go over creating and styling custom pop-ups in Presto shop 1.7 so stay tuned okay uh, this is everything for today's video I hope you found it useful and if you did please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog animops.com for other great Presto shop tutorials and tips Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.